Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in this video i will discuss that how we can make search interaction plots in the spss and in one of the excel file that has been specially designed in which we can use a binary moderator for making such a graphs to make such a graph in excel we need the coefficients of independent variable moderator and the interaction term of independent variable and the moderator whereas to generate such a graph in the spss we need the codes for visualization in both cases we have to perform the analysis in the spss go to analyze regression process 4.1 by andrew f hayes select your independent variable independent variable moderator i am using model number 1 of the hayes macros then go to option please must check this generate code for visualizing interactions this is compulsory so that you can get the codes for generating the graph click continue so first of all we go for the easiest method that is using the excel sheet so just copy these three coefficients and paste them in the excel file at these points do not change the intercept or constant further write the names of your categories of the moderator here just like here developer and tester like i say a b c is the first category and c vb is a second category so you can see the tester it will be replaced by the cvb so if you make any change in these coefficient you will you will see that there is a significant change in the graph as well so like just i am saying that it's 0. Point, uh, instead of 0. 0.1 it's 0. 0.9 so you will change observe a change in the graph so in this way we can make the graph in the excel however for the spss go to the spss output come down here you can see these are the codes double click on this output okay and after doing the double click you can see a dotted line is appeared at the boundary of this whole results then you will be able to copy these codes right click copy then go to file new in the new select the syntax paste them in the syntax then select the whole after selecting click on this play button you will get the graph the graph will be in the form of points we will have to join those points in order to get the lines so double click on these points and then you will be able to go to elements and then fit line at the subgroups because we have two subgroup for the two categories upon clicking we will get click this close and then again close so you got such a graph however i suggest to read the graph that has been generated by the excel sheet that is available on a jeremydawson.co.uk they are quite easy to make further they are more attractive as compared to spss one thanks for watching the video bye